that phenomenal what you just saw? That is called a sun dog. It is frozen ice particles in the environment that's refracting off the sun. Let's take another glimpse of that. I've seen many sun dogs, but that is the most incredible. Usually they're just straight lines up and down in the sky of different color. People sometimes think it's like a rainbow, and that one certainly looks like a rainbow because it arcs all the way around the sun. I believe that that was influenced, from what I'm seeing and sensing, by the sun flares that have been shooting off the sun since last week when we were on Siesta Key. Because today's show, we're here broadcasting from Nokomis Beach Drum Circle here in Nokomis, Florida. And welcome to the Shaman Mix Show, and what a way to open the show other than seeing a, a sun dog that ox all the way around the sun like that. It's phenomenal. Can we get one more shot of that, please? That is amazing. Now, we're going to venture down to the drum circle here at Nokomis, and we're going to interview a few people and give you some idea of why and what the drum circle is about. I see a very relevant and important uh, meaning to the drum circle that I will describe later, but let's get a few ideas of what people who come and share their services to mankind and being a part of it, and those that come just to watch. So let's go venture down to the beach and we'll enjoy the Nokomis drum circle. Well, we're here at the Nokomis Drum Circle, and we just took a few shots out there. But it's kind of windy tonight, and we wouldn't be able to hear it, so especially with the amount of drummers we have this evening. So I, what I did was brought some of the, a drummer over from the circle, one, a one that's been with us a long time, Chuck. And Chuck has been a, an integral part of the Drum Circle for a number of years. In fact, he's the coordinator of the uh, Nokomis Drum Circle float that he designed and built himself for the Venice Holiday Parade. Welcome, Chuck, to the show and Mick Show. Thanks, Mick. Uh, let, me, let me say, a lot of people put a lot of work into that float besides me now. <laughs> well, he's the mastermind Mick, behind Including Mick, you know. Behind it, he certainly but, is. Um, and he's it, very modest. It's a lot of fun to, to, to do it all and get the group together, and it's the best drumming, you know, of that part of the year. And so I look yes. forward just to that, to the drumming. But uh, that's, re and that's the reason I come here, is just to be a part of the group and make it happen, you know. And what, it, what kind of a response do you see from the spectators that over the years? Uh, varied, you know. I mean, and it's always positive, but it's very varied. I mean, some people come here one time and go out next week and buy themselves a drum at the local drum stand and come back the next week to join us, you know. Which is sometimes good and sometimes, you know, they, they they make it different and it all flows together, you know. And I mean, then you got the old time drummers that have been here. There's been drummers been here 12 to 14 years, and then the middle ones have not been here seven to eight years now. And some of these other people are just been here a few weeks, so it's it's all a good mix with family and kids, and hula hoops, you know. And a wide variety of people, like you said, yeah. people from all walks of life come and are attracted to drug service. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's well worth, you know, the price of admission on Saturday yeah. night. Which is the reason <laughs> on it. just right. show up. That's, That's right. it. Well, thank you very much, Chuck. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate it. Great, right, man. See you. Now we have one of our dancers, as you can tell, elaborately dressed. This is Debbie, and Debbie's been with us a number of years as well at the drum circle. And people respond to her as you can tell, as your response to it is. She is phenomenal. We love the dancing she does, we love the energy she puts into it, and the people receive it quite well. So give us an idea, Debbie. What draws you to getting, getting dressed in an outfit like this, which is spectacularly done? I'm sure it took you a while to even put it together. Yes, it did, but it feeds the soul being here. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. Yes. Excellent. And what are the responses you get from the people, the, the comments that they bring to you? They love it. They want to take pictures. They enjoy it every week. 
It feeds their soul as well as the people that drum and dance. Very nice. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you coming out on the Shaman Mick Show. Thank you. Well, uh, bless you. You too. Back to the dance. Wait, Deb, how about give us a little demonstration of the dancing? We'd love to watch it. It'll be on all week on SeeMyBeach.com. So hopefully this gives you some idea of the magnitude of the drum circle here on Nokomis Beach. It's an offspring actually of the, of the Siesta Key Beach drum circle, which was originated 15 years ago. And like Chuck said earlier, this one is probably about 12 or 13 years we've been down here doing it on Saturdays. And it's grown in size immensely. I remember 10 or 12 years ago, there'd be 30, 40, 50 people. As you saw before, there was a crowd, and they're still coming. It's early yet. There'll be eight or seven or 800 people here because we're in season, and that's a really good crowd. And my emphasis on doing the drum circle is connecting people and bringing them together, and also wanting to take the drum circle out on the road. I'd like to do drum circles all over to connect people, bring them into nature, connect with the heartbeat of Mother Earth, because that's what the drum beat is in the Native American realm, the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Wow, let's connect with that. Let's, let's hear from you people with emails, seeing if you'd like us to come to your town and have a drum circle. I'm sure you'd enjoy it, for sure. That being said, I'd like to elaborate a little bit about what I uh, spoke on in the last show which was a story I told about the Cherokee Nation and about the, that we are the, as far as we know, the only beings that have free choice of will. And we had response to that, and I was saying that, you know, about even if you don't make a choice, that's a good choice. It's an unconscious choice, it's whatever you want to call it, but it's still a choice. And we have a choice at every moment whether we're aware of them or not is another thing. And that's what we want to do by becoming more into the present, is seeing that we have these choices. We've had some comments from people saying, well, that seemed to be a heavy burden of responsibility on me, that I got to know all my choices and make all these decisions. I said, whoa, 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 wait, slow down. The word responsibility is misconstrued in my world. I don't see it as a burden or, a, or, or something to put a blame on or something that I have to do. Responsibility is my ability to respond to each moment as it presents itself. I want to repeat that. My idea of the word responsibility is my ability to respond to each moment as it presents itself. That's what responsibility is to me. And I'll tell you, it makes the world a lot, of, a lot easier place to get along in and be in harmony with. And I'd like to thank you again for joining us here on the Comus Beach for that wonderful sun dog, drum circle, and that's what we're all here about, is having fun, connecting, being in tune with nature, and hopefully we'll join you in your town soon. Please keep the emails coming. Bless you, be well, and see you soon.